welcome back. So on this episode, we're just going to solo an entire gym using Beedrill. Even though we're apparently not allowed in here, which seems strange considering the door was wide open. And considering there are only eight gyms in Kanto, that kind of makes it impossible for male trainers to enter the Pokemon League. And I guess I kind of worked around that in the anime, with um, there being more than eight gyms. You know, Gary Oak having ten gym badges for some reason, and then challenging Giovanni anyway. <laughs> Season one of the anime was weird. Entertaining, but weird. Hello. I hope she's the only one getting bored, by the way. <laughs> Try to keep things entertaining around here, but you know, there's only me. I wonder, how many individual Pokemon are in this gym? Am I going to have enough Twin Needles? I guess I could use Poison Sting on Tangler when I fight that. Got to fight them all. No, that's the guy outside. That would be the... Um, Letch. Is it many trainers with Bulbasaur and Ivysaur? That's cool. But I wrecked them anyway. We got a level up out of it, which is even better. This lady. She's right, brass Pokemon aren't easy to raise. I think I'm in a minority of people who um, like to have a grass Pokemon on their team, regardless of the, um, the game or generation. Yeah, I like to have sort of a, the trifecta of grass, fire, and water, and then I usually have like electric, ground, and flying. Sometimes maybe spice things up and have a, a dark or a psychic type on there, but generally those are the six types I go for. Yeah, let's cut in here. Yeah, see this one's polite. Yeah, they're not not all vapid and standoffish. Could use Poison Sting on this one, but it might know Psychic moves, so I'm not going to give it the opportunity. Yeah, you see? Well, she's doing a good job. When did that tree come back? It's not girl power I'm underestimating, it's the power of a gym that it uses entirely grass and poison types against a bug type. Also, I think that was a trainer we haven't seen yet in this run. I'll ponder over her sprite in a little while. She's got some strong Pokemon. She's kind of like a sub gym leader. Boom, easy. Yeah. That's the thing. There are a lot of whips in Generation 1. I mean, there's the Rocket Grunts and the Tamer class that have them, 
which is kind of understandable because Team Rocket are horrid and the other guys, the Tamers, I guess use their whips as some kind of training regimen. But what has she got a whip for? I mean, th that's not a thing that ace trainers or cool trainers have in subsequent generations, so... Maybe she's part of the Belmont clan. Too late! I've brought a bug Pokemon. So I could, I guess, bring a flying-type Pokemon in here and they wouldn't complain. Ah, going back to the Belmont clan, though, I am so psyched for Simon being in Smash, which is going to date this whole series now, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I'm... I've wanted him in since, like, 2008, when I got my Wii. Um, I got Brawl... I can't remember if I got Brawl before Super Castlevania 4 or after, but, I mean, it would have been around the same time, like, the first half of 2008, and I thought... Simon would be a really good fit for Smash. And so now I'm very excited that he is in. Anyway, here's Erica. Who a lot of people like to joke that because she's in a plant type gym, she's perpetually stoned. Well, I guess she's like chilled out, you know, herbal tea and aromatherapy and stuff. So speaking of upcoming games, I'm kind of excited to see what she'll look like in, uh, what's it called? Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, yeah, we've seen Brock, Misty and Surge, so it'd be nice to see what the others look like. Because she sometimes changes her appearance a little, not as much as Sabrina, but... Um, yeah, interesting what kind of kimono she wears for this, whether she goes back to her original style or stays closer to how she appears in Fire Red and Leaf Green or Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Anyway, I just completely talked over bathing her. So while I've got a chance, I'll just comment that it seems a little unfitting that she's like this really chilled out person and she's either playing catch with her Pokeball or maybe using mind powers to levitate it. Anyway, we got the rainbow badge. Which is exceptionally helpful. And a TM for Mega Drain, which is not exceptionally helpful, since I don't think either of them can use it. Can they? I'll check. Oh, he can! Do I want to? I mean, his special stats are... pretty... pretty low. Mm. Nah. He doesn't have that much trouble with water types anyway, so... be kind of pointless, really. A little bit of time left. I just want to. Get back through here, go and grab a hidden item, and then on the next episode, we'll. go through the rocket hideout. I've got a PP up, which I think I should use. He's got enough of his stuff, but it's Ocean Man whom I want to use it on, as she will keep Ice Beam, which doesn't have a lot of PP. I mean, I'll, I'll teach her Surf, so there's no point in using it on Bubble Beam. Yeah, I think I'll do Ice Beam. Oh, bloody hell. I th thought it would take longer before before the menu appeared, so I'm just 
guns are blazing, hammering A. Ah! Oh. Idiot. Absolute blinking idiot. See you on the next episode, everyone. As always, thank you very much for watching, and cheerio. <sighs>